Hi everyone, Dirk here from MTG Nostalgia with a special episode. You might have noticed that this is not a retro booster, this is a modern fat pack. Um, since most of the cards that I have are from the days of old, um, I have uh, some problems dealing with um, people who have decks with newer cards, so especially uh, one of my very good friends with uh, whom I play Magic, uh, he usually beats me to the turf with his new cards. So I decided to um, uh, expand, extend my arsenal of cards and I decided to get a fat pack. Kans of Tarkir, uh, raise your banner on the plane of Tarkir, dragons have been hunted to extinction, five warrior clans vie for dominance on the fields of war, each wielding its own unique blend of fierce battle magic. Become a Khan and embody the power of the storied dragons. So there should be uh, nine boosters in here, a life counter, some lands, and some other stuff. We're gonna see what's in there. Um, Hans of Takir came out, I think, in uh, 2015. And the most valuable cards from this set right now are the fetch lands. Um, uh, this is actually uh, this is a poster. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna try to open it. Looking good. So this is like a. Dungeon Master's Guide. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is a player's guide. Uh, get some lore. Um, the set is built around uh, wedge colors. Um, some lore. I'm not gonna read through this right now. I think there should be. Um, the 10 uh, coolest car, uh, cans of Tarkir cards. Sorin, Solemn Visitor, Sarkhan the Dragon Speaker, these are two Planeswalkers. Polluted Delta, this is one of the fetch lands. Murderous Cut. Wingmate Rock. Seeker of the, of the Way. Crater's Claws. Snowhorn Rider. Sultai Charm and Absent Falconer. And then there's a illustrated guide and a checklist. Okay. Oh look, some cardboard. More cardboard. Boosters, a life counter, some lands. Okay, these are deck boxes. Okay. A box. And let's get to the meat of it. Let's see, a life counter. That's the set symbol. Rules reference cards. So um, nowadays um, the packs don't have um, uh, yeah, the the sets don't have any starter decks. So I think those fat packs, or as I learned today, as they will be renamed. From 2016 on, from the next set, Kaladesh, they will be called bundles. Uh, so they are sort of your starting point. This is a land pack and boosters. I'm gonna get to it. So I'm trying to build a modern uh, legal deck from this and get some cards for it. So. Um, Gonna see what uh, if you see any good combos, you can post them in the comments. Valley Dasher, 
Firehoof Cavalry. Ooh, this is really different, these cards. Firehoof Cavalry, Monastery Flock, Leaping Master, Alpine Grizzly, Sultai Scavenger. Also, Delve is a, a thing in this deck. In this set, Tusk Colossodon, Tranquil Cove, Shamblin Attendance, Jeskai Banner. Now for the Uncommons, Incremental Growth, mm -hmm. Secret Plans, Windstorm. That's an instant hurricane. Oh, um, doesn't deal damage to players and. Ivory Tusk Fortress, not a Siege Rhino. Mm -hmm. Land and a Morph Token. Okay. Oops. We Fate. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Bloodfire Expert. Mardu Skull Hunter. Feed the Clan, War Behemoth, Bloodfell Caves, Mystic of the Hidden Way, Summit Prowler, Sultai Banner, lots of Sultai in here, Master of the Way for the Uncommons, Become Immense, ooh, okay, Horde Ambusher and Aurea is, ooh, ha, 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 okay, cool, um, if this were a draft, you would probably pick this one as a bomb and <laughs> try to build a deck around it. So let's see if we can get some more black and white cards. A foil is a wee fate. Oh, so there's not a foil in everyone. This is a common, planes and a tip card. Nice. Mythic rare. The first planeswalk I ever pulled. Monastery Flock. Leaping Master. Second one, Rush of Battle. Awaken the Bear. Oh, okay. Molten, Molten Snakeskin. Dismal Blackwater. Tormenting Voice. A Freed Weapon Master. Oh, three colors. Okay. Ooh. Back in the, the days, this would have been unthinkable, a gold three-color card with enemy colors in the common spot. War Behemoth, Bloodfell Caves, uh, second one I think, Goblin Slide, Commons. Hmm, okay. Become Immense, a second one, Heart Piercer Bow, and a Utter, oh! White and black. I think I'm gonna go for white and black now. Forest and it is cut. So any tips on using cons of Taki? Oh, these are <laughs> my god. These packs. Any tips on using cons of Takir cards? Post them in the comments. Swift kick. Rush of battle. Dutiful return. Mm -hmm. Force away. Ferocious. Oh, okay, powerful. Greater. That's that's a mechanic in this set. Bring low. Rugged Highlands. Jeskai Student. Abomination of Gudul. Singing Belt Strike. Chief of the Scale. Yeah. Other warrior creatures. You can... This might work with Soren, I think. Raw of Challenge, Warden of the Eye, Ghost Fire Blade. Equip creature gets plus two plus two. Ghost Fire Blade's equip ability, ability uh, costs two less to activate if it targets a colorless creature. Okay. There's an uncommon foil, Ice Feather Aven, a forest. And a zombie token, cool. I'm gonna put the rares here. The 
foils. So you have a good look at them. Whirlwind Adapt, Madu Warshrieker, Defiant Strike, Crippling Chill, Hooting Mandrills, Sulta Scavenger, Ride of the Serpent, hmm. Madu Banner, okay. hmm. Highland Gain, Mm -hmm. Swift Water Cliffs, Scion of Glaciers, Ruthless Ripper, these are the uncommons, Ruthless Ripper, Quiet Contemplation, and we'll get a Fetchland Hooded Hydra. Oh, oh another Mythic Rare, cool. Ah, this might go into my commander deck. Or, and a uh, vampire token. There's a popular uncommon here called Monastery Swift Spear. I haven't pulled one of those. Let's see if we can get one in the remaining boosters. Glacial Stalker Shatter. Oh, cool. From back in the day, sweet print. Firehoof Cavalry. Mm -hmm. Disowned Ancestor, Archer's Parapet, Kill Shot, Sultai Banner, Sultai Force Away, Wind Scarred Crack, Bring Low, Uncommons, Hordling Outburst, mm. oh, might be for my Goblin deck. Mardu Charm. Hmm, this. Maybe I should go for these colors. Dead Drop. A nine and a black. Target player sacrifices two creatures with Delve. Hmm, okay. Dig through time. Ah. The top seven cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. 8 mana and you can delve to pay for it. planes and a warrior token. Well, no fetch land yet. Cancel. Oh, that's the new hard counter spell. Costs one colorless more than classic counter spell. Swift kick. Rush of battle. Sagu Archer, Dutiful Return, a Freed Weapon Master, Siegecraft, Thornwood Falls, Jeskai Wind Scout, Abzan Banner, Winter Flame, Tap Target Creature or 2 damage. Oh, okay, and or Temur Charm. High Spire Mantis and Trap Essence. Counter target creature spell. Put two plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Forest and a warrior token. Two boosters left. We fade another one. Bloodfire Expert, Smite the Monstrous, Glacial Stalker, that's some really detailed art on those new cards, huh. Archer's Parapet, Dutiful Return, ha. cool art, Savage Punch, he knocks out a bear. Tusk Colossodon, huh. Tranquil Cove, 
another one. Rakshasa's Secret. Absen Battle Priest. Cleric Outlast. No, oh, you can. Hmm, you can level them up. Okay. Absent Charm. Witness of the Ages. And Savage Knuckle Blade. A swamp. A goblin Token. Savage Knuckle Blade gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Activate this ability only once each turn for green mana. For blue mana, return Savage Knuckle Blade to its owner's hand. And for red mana, it gains haste until end of turn. It's a 4 4 for a 3 drop. Okay. Back in the days when I was playing from Revised, you rarely ever played three colors. Most people played two colors. And nowadays with uh, the new sets that feature all those uh, three color cards, it seems to be much more common. Glacial Stalker, Shatter, another one, Firehoof Cavalry, Awaken the Bear, Bitter Revelation, look at the top four cards of your library, put two of them into your hand, rest into your graveyard. Okay, Force Away, Windscarred Crack, Ring Low, Snowhorn Rider, Trample Maw 5 5, Siegecraft, Stubborn Denial, Secret Plans, or second one, Bear's Companion, and our last rare. Another Savage Knuckle Blade. Well, who would have thought? A Mountain and a Goblin Token. So, sadly, no fetch lands for us, but two foils. And Savage Knuckle Blade, another Savage Knuckle Blade, Trap Essence. Oh, these are all the same colors. Might play them. Take through time. Hooded Hydra, Ivory Tusk Fortress. Sorin Solemn Visitor, Utter End, and Ghost Fire Blade. Okay, if you have any advice for me on what kind of decks to play with that, <laughs> much appreciated. Um, anyway, like, subscribe, and see you next time.